Hi, everyone. Thanks for checking out your evening edition to your daily forecast. Now, it's been overcast and gray. The inversion never really broke a whole lot. And so with that said, we are still tracking in the possibility of strong and severe thunderstorms. So make sure you have a way to receive weather alerts as we head into the evening and early overnight hours. Uh, East Tennessee Weather App's a great tool. Get all your watches and warnings, push alerts, notifications from there. And if I do break in to do some severe weather coverage, you'll know and you can watch right from your cell phone. Severe weather threat does slow down, though, after midnight. Transitions to a very heavy rain event. Falling temperatures Sunday and a chilly Monday ahead. So let's get to work with what's going on this evening. We do have that level one and level two risk for severe weather around the area. Uh, but again, that's going to be through about midnight and then it will start to fade away. The greatest threat is going to be damaging wind gusts, locally heavy rainfall, but we do have some spin in the atmosphere. We've seen that back in Middle Tennessee earlier today, uh, and so we still have that threat for an isolated tornado, mainly along the Cumberland Plateau. So here's the story as we pick up our timeline at 7 o'clock this evening and run you through uh, 10 o'clock. There are those storms coming out of Middle Tennessee, so right around 10 through midnight. That's a small window for seeing the possibility of severe weather. I think anytime after midnight, it just transitions to a very heavy rain event, and it's going to be a soggy, soggy start to our Sunday morning. And the other side of the story is the colder air is going to come racing on in on the back side of that. So 7 o'clock in the morning, still very soggy conditions, overcast gray, still some scattered light rain showers, but the heaviest rain comes through during the overnight hours. Now, as we head through the day on Sunday, still going to be dealing with rain for the first part of our day, slowly tapering off for the second part, but here comes the colder air. And watch this. It's going to transition to snow showers across the highest elevations, the Smoky Mountains, southwest Virginia, southeastern Kentucky. That's where we're going to see the majority of the snow. Now, we're still looking at the possibility of one to two, maybe even a few pockets of three inches of rainfall, at which point, if we were to see three inches, we'd likely see some localized flooding. So something to keep in mind. Snowfall forecast across the highest peaks. Anybody traveling along Highway 26, Interstate 40, places like Boone, Sugar, Beach, North Carolina. Yeah, they're going to get some good, solid, fresh snow and even more up the Appalachian Spine up into Virginia and West Virginia. So not a lot of snow here in the valley or even across the Cumberland Plateau. The temperatures will start off the warmer side Sunday, but fall into the 40s Sunday afternoon. So it's going to be a cold and blustery Sunday. Monday, we stay in the mid 40s. Tuesday, we're back into the low 50s. Again, I will keep you posted on how things all play out as we head through the next several hours. So make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you have the East Tennessee Weather app ready to go at your fingertips. And anytime you want to check out the latest interactive radar, you can do so. It goes back two hours, pauses at the current time, and takes you into the future of two hours. Have a great night.